All right, what is up, boys? Back out here, just still drooling over the Huracan. This thing is so sexy with these new wheels. Sounds great. Kind of just been screwing around all week. I just keep driving the car. It sounds so good. Figured I'd bring you guys with me today. I'm actually gonna go look at a couple of uh, dealerships, I think. There's been a couple of new, like, used supercar dealerships that popped up the past, like, six months. See what we can get into. Let's uh, get this thing a cold start. It's gonna be ridiculously loud right here up against the door, even though it never comes across on camera. I'm so disappointed in um, last video's footage of the sound of this thing. <laughs> this mount it's kind of jerky i don't know how bad it's going to look in edit you guys might not get a lot of this yeah i don't know man this thing's kind of just jiggling the whole time this old mount i've had for a long time i don't think i've ever used it and this is probably why i probably tried it once and it was jerky like this here i'll show you what it looks like this thing's garbage right there Worthless. Every little bump, it just jiggles around. I'm gonna run to a gas station, give me a uh, Mountain Dew Code Red, and I uh, will throw you guys on my head once I get there. This tastes so good. There's nothing that tastes better than a nice cold Code Red on a hot ass day. Except for maybe like a regular Mountain Dew in a can out of like a cooler. I don't know why that tastes different. You guys know what I mean? It's like a cooler full of ice and canned Mountain Dew. You grab one of those cans of Mountain Dew, it just falls down. I love this car, man. This is the most I've driven it since I've had it. This exhaust and these wheels. I swear to God, this thing sounds amazing. You have to hear it in person. And every time I get out the car, I look back at it. I did that before, but it looks completely different. The wheels completely changed the car in person. Maybe I'll stop by that camera store and see if I can find a better mic. Cause like right now I just use like, I pretty much got this on the GoPro. It's just like a mic adapter and then whatever this little plug-in mic is. They make powered mics too that can go up there. But I already run out of battery life like all the time. Like, cause I, I'm weird. I constantly record everything cause I feel like I'm gonna miss something. Like especially when I'm working on cars. The camera's usually just on the whole time I'm working on cars. So like when I go and edit, so I've had like 14 hours of footage before. I already go through batteries like nothing. Even with this setup, this little mic adapter does drain the battery more than without it. If I get a power mic, geez, man, I'd probably be lucky to get an hour out of a battery. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, why don't you go get like a nice DSLR or something? I, I, I work on cars too much, I'd ruin it. It'd be covered in grease. Just, I don't think it's a good idea. All right, boys, just out cruising around. Stopped in at Charchons. Yeah, I got super excited when I seen the Mercia Lago. Look at that thing, that thing is beautiful, that yellow. It's already sold though. I was real excited. I was praying that God was a manual. This is my poster car. When I was a kid, I had this on the po on my bedroom wall. It's got to be a manual though. I can't settle for less, right? You're ever in the Belden Village, North Canton? Check them out. You got three Huracans back here. I don't think it's gonna come across on camera, but this color is sick. 
I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a charcoal. It's like blue, but like really dark with like some gray flake in it, maybe. And then they got a black one, so you can tell the difference. Look at that color. And it looks great with silver wheels. And then they got a white one over here. But it's a 610. Which, I mean, a lot of people like that. It's got more horsepower, all-wheel drive. But I like rear-wheel drive, as you know. Dude, I wouldn't mind getting a GT. I've always liked the Bentley GTs. There's black so hard to take care of. I don't know if I like it in silver, to be honest with you. I really thought about getting a Quattro Porte. This is sick. I just don't know how I feel about the transmission. You like hear some people say that the transmission is great, but some people would sit here and tell you it's the slowest transmission ever. Um, I don't know this for a fact, so you can call me out in the comments about it. From what I understand, though, is that it's a torque converter automatic that lets you shift it. It's like a slotmatic. Some Aston Martins. Oh, this color is sick. It's almost like a Nardo gray. Look at that. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in there. The DBS is sick in person, guys. Actually, I'm not even going to lie to you. I didn't really like this. I'm like pictures and looking at it on YouTube. I was like, oh, whatever. This thing is sick. Hey, let's check out the Viper. I'm sure most of you guys care more about that. I don't know how I feel about the orange. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. It's super windy out here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Long front end. Long, long, long front end. This wing's adjustable. It looks like it is. They got the 488 Spider. I'm not a big fan of the 488. I don't, I'm not down with the turbo. I'm just not. Ferrari switches sound good. But a lot of people would rather have the power than the sound, I guess. And the Testarossa. Testarossa is a lot smaller in person than what you think it is. I just thought the Testarossa was like the size of like a Countach. It's not. Testarossa is probably half the size of a Countach. And this is the M4, right? This is the one with the water injection, I think. That uh, Jeremy Clarkson made fun of. I don't think he's ever gave a worse review on any other car than this one. It looks sick though. The roll cage. Or for my British mates, scaffolding. I like the way it looks, that's for sure. I'll drive this. But according to Jeremy Clarkson, Porsche outperforms it every way. I really am starting to feel a Bentley. Maybe I should get rid of the AMG and get a Bentley, huh? There's no one in here, but I'm still talking quiet. It's weird when you get around expensive cars. You always talk like you should be proper. The F-Type, I almost bought this F-Type. The same as that color. I went through everything. I specced it out at Jaguar and everything. I just couldn't pull the trigger on it. it just These things brand new. They were like, it was like 130. I was like, I can't. I can't do that. All specced out with all the carbon. I was looking at an SVR with the wing. But it's the same color. The color's sick. This is a Vanquish, right? I don't know my Aston Martins are like that. Aston Martin GT? I honestly don't know. Aston Martin make a car just called a GT? This thing's sick if it was manual. That's pretty much my answer to anything. Every car is sicker in manual. This color's cool. My camera, it looks silver from what I can see right now. It's kind of like a baby blue with some like silver flake in it. Never seen that before. 
We've got the Rolls Royce Wraith over here. There's a Roush. I didn't even see that. I love these Wraiths, man. That's gray. This thing is sick. This is baller, man. I end up killing it in the stock market. This is what I'm buying. Dude, this red is killer. On this GT. This is me all day. I'd pick this over the Wraith. All day. Just look at this thing. I'd have to get all the chrome turned to black. Have to have it all wrapped or plastic dipped. I'd be the first person to plastic dip a freaking Bentley. I would just spray paint the wheels. I'm just playing. I like them silver. I just don't like the way they look. I like silver wheels on a lot of cars. Just not chrome. That chrome stripe's gotta go. That chrome around the door's gotta go. But besides that, this car's sick. If everything that was chrome was black, probably even like a matte black. Or if it was carbon. Oh, carbon would look sick as fuck, dude. Oh yeah, man, you guys are here. In town, check out my boy. He said he'll hook you up. Tell him I sent you. I'll throw his business card up right now. He'll take care of you for sure. And they said they'll move this car out the way. And then I got all of this room. Oh. <laughs> You said you just put exhaust on it? Yeah, it's straight back man. Yeah, that's it. That thing. I'm gonna roast these until there's nothing left.